This is an overview of the Universal Character Customization System for Unreal Engine 4, available at the marketplace link in the description below. With the system, you can easily create your own human figures within the engine in just a few minutes. It's possible to create basic female and male characters and monsters as well. You can save the character definitions as presets with just a few clicks. And also, all the character meshes are rigged to the UF4 skeleton, so you can take advantage of the thousands of animations available in the marketplace as well. These are just a few examples of the characters you can create using this system. It's also possible to create monsters. This is the character design screen, which has three main sections. With the first section, you can determine how your character will look like by customizing the skin, hair, eyes, uh, bone structure, and more. The second section is used to save or load your own character presets, and the third section is used to customize your scene. So I can change the camera, I can rotate the character around, zoom in, zoom out, and I can also change the background of the scene, which is very important. So if I change this to, let's say, the interior background, you will see that the character looks different, mostly on the eyes and the hair. And this is because the way the characters look like is largely determined by the lighting conditions. So I would advise you to test different conditions here and try to find one that looks kind of like your game so you can control the final product. You can rotate the HDR image around, so I'm basically shifting the sun here. And of course you can change the brightness, contrast and the fog opacity as well. On the first section, you can define the character gender and how the skin looks like. So you can change the saturation, the exponent, which is how intense the skin looks like. You can tint the skin as well. It's possible to change the brightness, so you can have dark skin or pale skin. You can also have wet skin here using the roughness, if, if you reduce this, or you can increase it for lower reflectivity. It's possible to change the age of the character as well it makes a very significant change and you can blend this with the muscle tone as well so I'm going to remove the jacket you have five different um, clothing slots you have upper body um, you have uh, hats um, pants shoes and accessories so now I'm going to change the muscle tone and you can see how it's affecting the skin how I can blend this together it's just affecting the skin normals. It's also possible to add an extra normal effect to the character. So right here on the extra normal section, I can add a burn skin effect. I can also add fish scales, um, monster skin normals, and, and even, um, even veins as well. Finally, it's possible to change the dirt mask of the character. So if I increase the opacity here, you can see that there's a dirt effect on top of the character. I can change the roughness of the dirt, the exponent, um, the normal intensity. So it's very easy to create effects um, like blood here. Um, so if I reduce this, change it to red, um, I can reduce the roughness and change the normals. And it kind of looks like blood right now. Um, and you can see that the effects is very different with, with all the masks that you can use. In the second section, you can customize the morph targets of your character. So you can change how the, how thin the head is, the eyebrow angle, how pointy the ears are. So I can have um, elvish ears here, which blend quite nicely with the hair. I can also change the cheek size, and the jaw, chin. I can use a lot of um, different nose morph targets, change the length, um, the volume the angle of the nose, um, how apart the nostrils are. It's also possible to change the lip size, um, the volume, so you can have a duck face. Um, you can change the upper lip size, lower lip size, and, and much more. And it's also possible to change the bone structure. And this is interesting because it also changes the cloth. So 
I'm going to move the camera. You can see that if I increase the body fat, it's also affecting how the jean and the jacket looks like. And you can change the head size, the length of the neck, and of course you can combine all this together so I can you know the character is now a bit fatter and I can increase the head fat as well and I could add a double chin I could make the character um, change the angle of the spine here um, I, I can make it shorter uh, I can change of course the, the size of the arms and now the character looks much different You can also define the shape of the eyes, so I can change the size here and the depth as well, or the eyelids tab. It's also possible to change the color of the iris and the scara separately, so I can increase the brightness and change the color, and I'm going to make a yellow sclera. You can also change the dark ring scale around the eyes, which is right here. And it's also possible to change the iris scale as well, and I can change the pupil size. Finally, you can also change the veins intensity behind the eyes. It's also possible to have the character, um, the, the eyes glow, so if I want them to glow red, I can increase this slider and the intensity as well. And if you have bloom enabled, you will see that it's now emitting light. It's also possible to animate this by using this slider here. On the hair section we can change the hair mesh, there are about 10 styles, uh, basic styles for now and 3 additional styles for specific head gear, so you can change the hairstyle here. You can also determine how it's affected by the light by using the scattering slider, so lower amounts give you a darker hair and if you want blonde hair you have to increase this. You can change the roughness and specularity to determine how it's reflecting light. It's also possible to have up to two colors for the root and the tip separately. So you can have red on top and brown at the bottom. And I can of course change this, um, the, the brightness of them. So I can have dark roots here and if you want you can change the length of the root which determines how much it's affecting the, the color. And you can also change the transition here and make it smoother, um, let's say by using the, the contrast slider here. So we have a greater contrast, it looks sharper. And if I reduce the contrast, now the transition looks much smoother. It's also possible to change, uh, to add reflections to the hair. You can change the intensity here. And you can add more reflections if you want with this slider. It's also possible to change the shape of each individual hair mesh, so you can change the tip scale with this slider. You can change the scale of the fringe if your hair has a, a fringe. You can change the length here, um, the width of the hair, and, and the full scale, which is very useful for um, hat mesh, for example, because you can reduce the size of the hair to make sure that it blends nicely. It's also possible to add some clipping effect to your to your hair, so I can change this here and define how twisted the hair is, and you can change this for uh, more more scraggling. And this is where you can define how the wind affects this hair. So if I reduce this, then the hair will not be affected by the wind at all. On the facial hair section, we can change the eyebrows, the eyelashes, so um, there are many different styles that we can use. We can change the opacity, the thickness of the eyebrows, same for eyelashes, the, the color can be changed as well. You can add the mesh beard, there are seven different styles here, and you can modify them pretty much like with the hair. So you can change the color of the beard, um, the scattering, which is how much light it's reflecting, the roughness, uh, and you can also increase the size with the normal scale section here. It's also possible to change the length of the beard and, and make it wider as well. 
finally, if you want, you can remove this beard and use a, a skin painted beard, which has a, a, a subtle effect on the skin. You can also change the color and the exponent, which determines how it's blending with the, with the rest of the skin. You can also add cosmetic effects to your character. You can add blush, um, eyeliner. Um, it's also possible to change the eye shadow and the lipstick color as well. It's also possible to change the inner mouth of the character. So I'm going to, to, to change the mouth shape. You can see that we can change the position of the mouth, um, of the inner mouth. We can also change the tint of the teeth. It's also possible to change the gums, the tongue. We can add dirt effects as well. And we can change the shape of the teeth. So we can have pretty interesting effects here. Um, for example, the monster characters are pretty interesting see that these teeth are very far apart and the same happens for the, the zombie example characters so the effect is quite interesting it's also using a decal texture here you can also add decals to your characters in this section so I can add freckles and I can of course move them around change the roughness the, the exponent so let's try the facial wound here I can change the opacity and of course the, the color as well. If I reduce the roughness it now reflects more light. Um, this is how I can move it around. I can rotate this and with this exponent I can change how it's blending with the with the skin behind it. As soon as you're happy with the way your character looks like, you can click here on the preset section, select a name for your character, click on save preset, then we're going to head over to the editor, click on the universal character system folder, system, right click on the refresh tool, and click on refresh data tables. And that's it, if we go back to the to the main screen, we will now have available the, the characters we just created. And in order to use this in game, we're going to the main um, example map. So, on this map, we have many mannequin characters with the UCS component attached to them. Just going to head over to the UCS component and here we can select any of the characters we created. So as soon as we hit play here, we're using our characters. There's also a very handy randomizer tool that you can use to generate variations of your characters. You can control how much the character can change. So if I, I reduce the variation here, I can define what things will be changed. If the character can be bald, if you are going to change the eyebrows, eyelashes, and if I hit it on randomize, you can see that we got a similar character with somewhat different hair specularity. Um, I can also start from the default values. And this is very interesting to get um, monster changes as well. So um, let's get the zombie character. And let's say that we don't want to change the hair, we don't want to change the age or the roughness, but we do want to change the skin tint and all these other things here. I'm going to hit on, on um, current value, I hit on randomize, and then I have a different zombie in terms of skin that's keeping the characteristics that we wanted to keep. So that was the overview of the Universal Character Customization System for UE4 that you can get on the marketplace in the link in the description below. Please do note that the system also includes for free an IK fit placement solution for your characters. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to drop an email to the support email that you can find on the description as well. Thank you so much.